September means back to school, and that bites. But it bites in a very different sense if you're attending Vampire Academy. This fall, the hit novel is being adapted into a Peacock original series. Here to tell us all about it is the producer and stars of the show, Marguerite McIntyre, Sissy Stringer, Daniela Neves, Kieran Moore, and Andre De Kim. Thank Hello. you. Welcome, everyone. It's pronounced CC, by the way. CC, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Like, like the corn chips. Chips. Just like the like corn chips. Corn chips. Yeah, I'm yeah, very yeah. sorry. <laughs> we need to pick up if we need to. But first of all, um, Vampire Academy is going to be new to a lot of people. So give us a little bit of introduction. What's, what's, what's the show all about? This is a show. It's a, a series of books that Rochelle Mead beautifully wrote um, in the early 2000s that Julie Pleckrad had me read. We both fell in love with them and now seem like the perfect, perfect time because it's A, who doesn't love vampires at any, and there's no era that vampires are sure. popular. <laughs> but now it's a story about a class system that's struggling to come to terms with itself and what's not working. And it, it's the challenge that that creates for these two best friends, this core beautiful female friendship story at the center of it, these two women from different sides of the track, so to speak, mm. and how that, that devolution of the system is pushing against that friendship and what they'll do about it for themselves and how that affects their whole culture. Mm. So we did that in Spain with castles and we have fight sequences and passion and romance and underneath it is a story that's really resonant that we can all really kind of understand on a really human level. Mm. And I think you've just you've released your first trailer, which we'll bring up here in just a moment, and we see some of these really you know, exotic, beautiful locations that you're filming in. Mm. Um, first of all, I guess the, the whole dynamic of the show really hinges on Cece's and, and Daniela's characters, right? What's, the, like, what, what's that relationship like? Um, it's kind of, we've been describing it like soulmates. Like it's a, it's a soul bond, and in, in as much as you can being like in love with someone, but in a platonic friendship way. Mm. And I think that's the connection that they share, their family and their, you know, soulmates. Yeah, they're soulmates and they live in a society where they're not allowed to essentially be friends the way they want to be. They're not mm. allowed to go to the same parties. They're not allowed just because we are a different race of vampires. Mm. So yeah, it's a really interesting show. It's really beautiful. It's, it's central on this friendship, this female yeah. friendship. And it's reflective of the world we live in today. Okay, we've got the trailer. Let's go ahead and bring that up, and uh, we, we, we can stop it. We can stop and rewind, speak to different things. <laughs> Great. Uh, maybe, you know, tease, tease some, some of the more interesting little tidbits that are coming up. First of all, like what, what's, what, what is this world? Where is the set? Where does it take place? Well, that's a great question okay, because this, this world is not, it's within the human earth, but outside of human culture. And okay. only very few humans know about this world. Mm. Okay, play the trailer. We'll sure. be able to stop it here at certain bits. What are the rules something that for the? Want. We've even got audio. There, sure. <laughs> what, we're going to see, you know, some some vampire action here very early on, which is a good place to, to stop it, I believe. But what are the rules for these vampires? There we go, right there. Good place to stop. <laughs> Hello. There we go. What what are the rules for these vampires? Can they go in the sunlight? Do they sleep in coffins? Do they have to avoid holy water? Well, one of the great things about <laughs> Rochelle's book is that there are several different kinds of vampires. Mm. Right. So, I mean, you play one kind of vampire. Would you like to talk about the Maroi? Okay, so the Maroi, they are mortal, right? And they can die. They suck blood, um, but... Um, they have a, a, a natural lifespan, longer than yes. humans. Okay. And they can't go into the sun, it injures them, and what's the, elemental magic. And they oh, also they practice elemental, elemental, elemental They wield the powers right. of fire, earth, wind, and water. Which, uh, Some better than others. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, would you like to talk about elemental magic? Yeah. Oh, it's one of the most fascinating parts about the Maroi, I think, in our show. Each of them get to specialize almost like Avatar in like an element, so earth, water, fire, and air. And uh, some of them are a little bit better at it than others. And, uh, it's don't something brag. That, yeah, I got, well, don't want to brag too much. Sure, sure, sure. But it's it's an important aspect about um, about the Maroi. Like they have ceremonies and where they like show their elements and like show which one they're specializing in and stuff yeah. too. So. And the Strigoi are these, or like traditional monstrous, right. id-driven, need blood. They will attack you. They're scary, scary monsters. It's terrifying. Yeah. Well, Terrifying. And then there are the dogs yeah, the main here. Ones, really, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They've been under these guys a lot. Uh, so and you want to describe dogs here? Yeah, so they the dogs are you, um, half human, half Maroi. Uh, we're bred, uh, sorry, half uh, Maroi, half dump here, in essence, in the end, uh, to protect the ruling class of Maroi, um, be it royal, non royal. And our job is to train, to fight, oh, yeah, right. and protect, really. Look at him. Yeah, yeah what's, what's the training that's happening here? 
So this is, uh, I think this might be challenge day, right? This is challenge that? day, absolutely. So uh, Rose, um, she's, a, she's a bit of a delinquent. Um, and so she's <laughs> sitting at bit. the top of her class <laughs> and, and, you know, she, she has the skills and she has this like natural sort of raw talent and ability for this stuff. But acting out in school, it gets you demerits. And so in this scene, I've lost a lot of points on the leaderboard and then, um, I'm like, okay, I gotta make this back, I gotta get back on top. So I pick up my challenge card and I slap it on Mason and then we have a fist fight. And this is in the first episode and this is the first fight we see. Oh, the first and Mason training. Ashford from the books, which yeah. he's a very beloved character in the books too. Yes, oh, played by Mason. Played by Mason. Yeah. 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 Oh, and there, you wanna see a monster. That's my job, that's just a little... them. That's how I do. Yeah. 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 My sole purpose, fight yeah. them, yeah. attack these. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's jump a little bit further for. in the trailer. Like, how, how, what, what do you say is the balance between you know, action and drama in the series? Good. I think uh, what's wonderful about doing this is also there, that's great. Yeah. There's, there's the, the politics, there, yeah. there's the action, there's the magic. I think everything gets its due, but it's very story driven and, it, and there's no episode that doesn't have action in it because they're always under threat, mm -hmm. which is one of the things that drives the politics and it's one of the things that fuels friendships. So you will always have action, you will always have passion, you will always have politics in every single episode. Mm -hmm. You use it quite well to show the distinction between the lives right, as well. So it's like one side of the show, we've got the royals, who are living extravagantly and, yeah. you know, on a whim. And then we've got us yeah. fighting in it's, the cold. It's really reflected in, in, like, the filming process as well because <laughs> these people get to go to fittings where they get dressed up in, in all kinds of beautiful designer clothes and, and jewellery and shoes for her. Um, and then while they're doing that, we're in the gym training and learning how to fight like in the real world in real time so we're always and doing a lot of their own stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's yes. true and like, doing a lot of their own stuff strange. we were like <laughs> can we please go train that looks so fun i want to do a stunt and they i also like, really want to top up what was that? i also really wanted to top up <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i want to look like a pimp like jay august does <laughs> truly like tell me he doesn't need a cane so no, but daniela brought up a, a great point like i was so jealous of these guys getting to do their stunts and getting these awesome action sequences but at the same time just so in awe of seeing like my fellow cast members just like mm. going out there and doing these stunts by themselves and really yeah. killing yeah. it on the screen and so much of the stunts that you see these guys did them we yeah. had oh, great, yeah. great as much as people. we're legally sure. allowed exactly. to exactly but but we had great stunt people but they trained hard when they weren't on set they mm. were training so it was it was yeah. not easy but they did a great job. Kieran has a background in boxing as well. That's yeah. why he looks so sharp doing all of the fight mm -hmm. choreo. Kind of fit in with Dimitri's mentorship, right? I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, again, we all sort of brought elements of ourselves to it, right? In yeah. different ways. And I think that's the beauty of acting. You get to explore a character and their desires and what makes them tick and then sprinkle it with some of your own experiences. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm in. I want to watch Vampire Academy. Yeah. I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming by the IGN stage. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Cheers. All right, Vampire Academy premieres exclusively on Peacock on September 15th. And for all your vampires, zombies, werewolves, and other creatures of the night, IGN has you covered. Okay.